Again, welcome to InBadev.com. Today's video, it's not a C or C++ video tutorial. I am making this video to answer the question I received from my YouTube account. And this question is coming from Sami Higab. This question, I have no clue how you manage to run C++ on web without compiling the code first. Can you explain what server and modules I'm using? Well, that is an excellent question. To start on, I'm going to show you two folder locations here. The first location where CSP is located and the other location where CPP is located. This is the example of CSP file. Within CSV file, it has two lines. C++ um, string declaration and the response that write. Let's modify this file. And the other location where cpp.a.dll and .o are located. If I'm going to delete these files and reload again the page, and if you go back to the folder again, the files will be automatically generated. So what it does, the server will check if the file, the CPP, is created from the real file system. So if the file, which is default underscore csp.cpp, is not exist, the server will parse the csp file. So it will try to extract all those C++ code within the scriptlet and put together in one file, which is that .cpp. And once the CPP is created, it will compile, and if there's no error, it will generate DLL. And the DLL is the one that is being loaded into the memory. And the DLL is the one that is sending um, uh, contents or text to the client side by using this response that write. This one. Okay, so let's edit the file. Okay, so you will see two lines here, which is extracted from the CSP file. And this code is the one that is being um, compiled and generate DLL. If I'm going to modify this file, let's create another script right here. Okay, and reload the page again. The big brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Let's go back to the code. Okay. So here, <coughs> the H1, the HTML that I've created will be generated as response write with, with this code. And then, This additional code plus this one. So if the file is not modified, I'm talking about the CSP. If CSP is not modified, the server will not recomp will not recompile the file, will not recompile the CPP. There will be no 
parsing. Instead, it will reload the DLL into the memory. If the file is modified, so that is actually checking the timestamp of this CSP against the DLL. If there's a difference, that means there's a modification. So it will it will parse, compile, and generate DLL again. So I think I answered the first part of your question, and let's move to the second part. And the second part. Um, can you explain what server in modules I'm using? The server that I'm using here is just purely C++ application. It's a socket programming that is uh, listening to port 80. So this is the one. Working directory and then initiating web server application at host local host port 80. Okay. If I'm going to close this application, control C and then reload this page again. It will not be processed because the server is down. If I'm going to open it again, okay. This is the main, main.exe. It's not loaded. If I'm going to open it again, double click. Okay, and then reload the page again. Okay. And what modules I'm using? Uh, I'm not using any modules here just C++ code um, it's, it, this C++ code deals with HTTP request so it always keep listening from that port and if there is a request it will process and give the text to the client browser anyway I'm going to show you the code this, this code actually uh, is capable to run in Linux um, main GW and then uh, Visual Studio okay this is the main and this is the code and if you have any question just leave a comment Thank you for watching my video and bye for now.